Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see about arithmetic operation in Omron PLC. Before entering into the topic, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos and updates. So, let's start the topic. So, arithmetic is one of the important set of instruction in all PLC program because whenever you want to process some values, obviously we are in need of some instructions like addition, subtraction, multiplication and all, right. So, let us see how to get this instruction and uh, what and all addressing we have to use it for that. So, let us take a new PLC instruction. Go to details, go to find instruction. So, in this you can see arithmetic operation here. Alright. So, in this arithmetic operation you can make use of this plus. So, let us see about plus. See, you can see there are so many plus over here. So, this is the basic one, this plus 400 is the basic one, signed binary add without carry. So, this is BCD add with the carry without carry and this is for uh, double integer, you know for 32 bit addition. So, like that you have multiple options in Omron PLC. In this, you know, instruction set, you can see there are so many options for addition, but the, this is the basic one, right? So, let us go for it. Just choose that. And after that, it is asking for operand. If you see here, there are operand 1 of 3. So, it requires 3 operands. All right. So, what all, what may be the 3 operands? One may be the first one you want to add. The second one is the another one you want to add. And the third one is the result where we are going to store it. Alright. So, since it is a 16 bit edition, I am going to, you know, you can see, uh, you can give the word address here. So, I am going to give the 16 bit word address D0. Okay. So, since I have entered, it came to this place. So, butter will delete and add it one more time. So, I am going to put plus, that is it, that is enough. So, we are going to add the numbers. So, the first number I am going to store it in D0, which is a 16 bit address and I am, uh, you know, going to add one more address, which is D1. So, this is also here yeah, another 16 bit address. So, this D0 plus D1 I am going to add, alright. So, where I am going to put the result? So, for that I am going to get one more address which is D2. Okay. So, just click OK and you can give the comment for what is this uh, D0 and uh, for D1 and you can give D2 as result. LT. Alright. So, you got the instruction for addition and you can write one condition over here in the front. I am going to give 0, 0.0. So, just connect the run. Okay. So, just go for simulation and work online simulator. So, it is ready to simulate. And if you see the default value over uh, here for D0 is 0 and D1 is 0 and D2 is 0. So, I am going to give the integer value and you can see the range here. Okay, since it is a, okay, uh, I think before I have mentioned that as a verb, this is actually an integer data type. D0 is a integer data type and you can see the range over here. Okay, so I am just going to give some value. Let us take a 200. Alright, and uh, for D1, you give some other value, maybe another 200. So, there are two values over here, so D0 and D1. So, once the condition is true, it is going to add D0 and D1 and put the result in D2. 
Now the result is 0 in D2. So let's turn on the contact. I am going to force it. So once I force it, it will add, do the operation and put the result in D2. Alright. So if you change now, what will happen? Let's see. Instead of 200, I am putting 300. So immediately it is adding. Okay. Because the condition is true. Since the condition is true, you can see the live result over here. Suppose you are making this 0 0.02 off now. Make it off. And now change the value of D0. Let's see one more 300 here. So now if you see the result is not changed because the condition of the rung is false. So let's make the condition true. And see the result 600. Okay. So that's it about the addition instruction. So the same thing we can do the subtraction also. So let's see how to do that. So let's delete this instruction. I'm going to add the new PLC instruction here and just put minus symbol. So that's it for subtraction and you can add the same address or different address. As of now, I am just putting the same address. Alright. So let's go online and see. Since I have used the same address of uh, uh, for the addition I have used, you know, the same address I have used. So that's what the values are still there. 300, 300. And the result is, I mean, for the previous uh, D2 value was 600 and it remains the same. Suppose, if you make the condition on, so this D0 minus D1 will happen and it will store it in a result, D2. So, 300 minus 300 is 0. Alright. So, this is how subtraction will work. So, this is the integer value. So, what if, if you are giving some negative value here? Let us see minus 400. Alright. This is plus 300. So, what is minus 400 minus 300? So, let us see that. And you see, the result is minus 700. So, minus and minus get plus. And uh, the minus, uh, you know, symbol will come. So, 400 plus 300 is 700 since it is a minus and it is taking the minus symbol. So, it is minus 700. Since it is an integer value, you can give both positive and negative. If it is a word, you cannot give the, you know, uh, uh, negative address, negative value. Alright. So, this is arithmetic subtraction and arithmetic addition we have seen in this session. Alright. So, I will meet you in the next session with, uh, you know, multiplication and division. So, if you are not subscribed to our channel, kindly like and subscribe so that you will get the more updates in from, you know, automation community. Thank you so much.